Hey there. So I've um, been threatening for ages to do a tutorial on, I've done um, tutorials on wanding your hair. Um, but not many people really want to do that. So um, and every, every time I use the straighteners to curl hair, people are so like, oh my God, how have you done that? So I'm going to show you. Um, I do this on myself, just with the camera a little bit. Um, I do this on myself probably twice a week. Uh, wash my hair twice a week. Um, I've washed it today. I've used the Herbalife um, shampoo and conditioner today because it's sodium lauryl sulfate free. Um, and because I have not extensions, you need to use something that's SLS free because um, sodium lauryl sulfate will dissolve the bonds a little bit, make them soft. Um, I kind of alternate between that, Kevin Murphy. Um, but I've used the Herbalife because I'm having a bit of a herby day. And if you've watched my previous video, I've just done my whole skincare. Um, and yes, you did see me, A, with a face mask on, looking <laughs> completely like a freak, like I should be in a horror show. Um, and then also without any makeup on, but I put some lip gloss on and drawn on some eyebrows because I'm so blonde. I literally look like that. It's not a good look. So, dried it. Took me like seven minutes. It doesn't take long. Really, really doesn't. I used four pumps of Marconol and I just blasted it dry using a tangle teaser brush um, and a hair dryer. And I didn't separate it because I can't be bothered. I just dried it like that. Oh, seven minutes. Great. Do you need one of those? You obviously need straighteners. It is important that you have good straighteners. If you're using straighteners that are like five years old or um, GHDs don't get really that hot, they go up to like 170. Um, cloud nines are to me the best. I'm going to be using the cloud nine touch and they're so nifty and I'll tell you for why. Well, I'll show you for why in a minute. First of all, I'm going to section my hair. I'm going to take big sections. Take a little bit, twist it. Clip it. I don't know where my big chunky clip's gone. Um, this first section I'm just going to split into two. Wide tooth comb. Now if you've got extensions, get the knots out first because if you just start going at it, you don't really want to be putting any tension on there and, and ripping them out. Um, I say this from uh, personal experience. Yeah, I've done that before. Cloud9. These are the Cloud9 Touch. They're on. See the little red light? All I've got to do is like clamp them together. 195 degrees. As soon as they beeps, they're hot. Just they're hot. 195 degrees. Instantly. Well, instantly, probably in five seconds. So, get your section. It's important not to take it too big or too small. Too small will give you tiny, tiny tiny little curls and you'll end up looking like something out of the 18th century. Too big and um, you won't get much of a curl out of them. And you do have to make sure that your hair is totally dry. Clamp. Twist. And pull. Now the slower you go, the stronger the curl. Yes, it looks like my hair's on fire because it's smoking. But I promise you that's just a bit, little bit of steam coming off there. I can feel it on my fingers a little bit warm. As I get to the end, you'll notice that I twist it a little bit more. And I kind of catch it. Ta-da! Go run it. And I'm actually going to go all the way through my hair. I've got a mirror in front of me, so excuse me if I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the mirror. Um... I'm going to go all the way through to show you that it really doesn't take very long. <sighs> yeah, they look like winglets right now, but I'm going to brush it out. Trust me. Next section. I'm just going to go just behind the ears. Try and separate. From the... See, they turn themselves off instantly. Did you hear that beep beep? They recognised... These straighteners recognise that I put them down. They went, oh, you don't want me. Fine. I'll turn myself off then. 
what I'm going to do is go, I do want you. Instant heat. Now oh, that's sizzling because I didn't dry my hair 100%. Make your hair melt off. Like I said, as you get to the bottom, just give it a little bit more of a twist. And the wonderful thing about doing it with long hair is that you don't have to dislocate your arms. Because I don't know about you, but I've never been able to master dislocating my shoulders. So I bring it all forward, poisonly. I find that works for me. Oh yeah, because that steam's hot. She telling me myself now. Five minutes in already on my second section, but to be fair, I did guess a lot at the start. Not so. what my concentration face looks like. Just pay more attention to it. It's a bit more of a bee breath. Is it blue steel? Third section. Crop it out the way. Yeah, all right, straighten it. I'll be using them in a minute. Empty, empty. Just clamp them back on. They turn themselves straight back onto 195 degrees heat. This one you'll notice I'm twisting backwards, only because I want the curl to go away from my face. And things you can you can feel what bits need curling and what don't because you'll be able to pick up straight bits easy. It seems so much harder than it actually is. I urge you to just have a few tries. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And like I said, if I'm doing it twice a week and every day it kind of, yes, it drops out a little bit more. But I kind of like that beachy wave look anyway. So by day four, I just get up and brush it, and if there's a few bits that maybe I've, I've, I don't know, I've been doing head spins in my sleep or something, um, and there's some bits that I need to go over again, two seconds in the morning. Of course, after I've done my herbal life skincare routine, um, I'm not really bothered about that. This I'm going to go on a slight angle again, try and bend it away from the face a little bit more, and then twist it a little bit more. I promise you this really is easy to do at home. We of course will do this for you in salon. And the last bit, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take out the bits where I haven't got extensions. Which isn't a lot, because believe me, I don't think I've got hair. I think, I think God bless me with about four feathers that I have to make do with. Um, so the hair that I have, get a crop in there, don't need that one, get it away. I'll have that, I'll have that, big mud bed. Um, this hair, um, I do hair extensions in the salon. Can't be. Um, we do the hair extensions in salon. It takes a couple of hours. Really doesn't take very long. They come in 16 inches, 18 inches, and 22 inches. The hair I have is 18 inches. It's ethically sourced Indian Remy Temple hair. Try saying that five times in a row when you've had 14 vodkas. I haven't. I really haven't tried saying that. But anyway, that just means, um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty particular about where... My, the products I use in, in salon are sourced and that um, it's all ethical, biodegradable, um, organic as much as possible, which is why I choose Joyco, Kevin Murphy and Herbalife. That's what I use in salon. Um, because I love, 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 love them all. Done that side, done this side. 
probably do about three sections here. Clamp, twist, pull. Ever so slowly. The foundation of good hair is shampoo and conditioner. If you are using a nappy shampoo and conditioner, something that you've picked up because it was on sale in supermarket, Aussie, LV, Tresemme is one of my absolute hates. Especially if you're having colour, why would you spend so much money on having colour and then go and have the colour stripped out by using a nappy shampoo? Look after it. Look after your hair, look after your skin. Why not? If you're going to pay so much money for it, then your skin on your face, you get it once. Look after it. Because you're worth it. <laughs> Should do it in shovel action. Because you're worth it. Yeah, no. That is all my extensions curled. Hold on, see? Oh, she says, it was in a scappy little section there. Pretty easy to spot though, isn't it? Clamp, twist, pull. Don't think you can evade me. If you do find any wayward, strandy, straight bits, like that sneaky little peep there, not really straight, but that one was. Shook it, Ojo. I'm going to go with the bits. This is my natural hair now. So I'm going to start with the back section first. Excuse me, sniffing. But it is snowing outside. And no, I haven't got a cold. It's madly sniffy. I'm going to go under, so again, again, clamp, twist, pull. As you get to the end, give it a little bit more of a twist, grab it, twist it, done. She said she makes this look so easy, but I totally lied, I can't seem to grab it. Do you notice I'm not going right to the root? Because it looks really awful when you've got curls right at the root. It's just it's really dodgy. It's like you've had some sort of dodgy at these perm. Kim Wilde got away with it, but let's face it, she was gorgeous. I bet half the people even watching this don't even remember who Kim Wilde was. Wait, do you like my teeth yet? Chase dreams, not boys. So true. So true. Oh, that bit of steam poked my finger. One final bit, it's just my fringy bit. I try not to actually curl this too much. So I'm just going to straighten it. I think I'm going quite curly. <laughs> uh, have I got everything? Any straight bits, people? Yep, yeah, there. Thanks for pointing that out. Done. Don't even need to turn these off. I'm just going to put them on my heat mat. And in a minute they'll go beep beep. You don't want me. I say no, I don't. So I can leave the house, like thinking, oh my god, I've left my straighteners on. Brushing it out with my faithful tangle teaser. Oh, with the. Et voila. They've turned off. I'm all curly. That's going to last me four days. So what is it, Thursday? I might wash it on Monday, maybe if the pump comes to town. And there's my curly hair. And my glowing herb life skin. Yeah. Happy.
happy girly. I don't have to do anything for days now. Yay! Um, if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do, or want to know how to do, um, then just hit me up, send me a message, and I will endeavour to do them for you. Right now I'm just going to go and flick my hair around and give myself a bit of whiplash whilst I make my uh, healthy salmon dinner. See you later.